Hey everyone, Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Thanks as always for checking out our videos. Today we're looking at the Schrade SCX5. And as we start off, let me give you some of the details. The price range for this is going to be between $60 and $70. Your length end to end, 13.5 inches. The handle length is 6.5 inches and your cutting edge is 3.5 inches. The weight is one pound, eight ounces. And it does come with a ballistic nylon sheath. The handle material is polymer, and the metal they use in this is SK5. I think it's worth noting that some companies are marketing this as an axe for camping or hiking, and you can certainly use it in that type of situation. I would say that Schrade actually has some better options if you want a camping or hiking axe. For me, when I think about the SC Axe 5, this is a utility slash demo slash breaching tool. This is the type of thing I would keep in the trunk of my car in my emergency bag, maybe in a bug out bag or a bailout bag, and we'll show you what it looks like in use. I just think it's better built for that type of application, particularly with the nail remover, the nail pry at the end, and you can generally use the end as a prying tool as well. Here's a look at the sheath. You do have one, two, three, four rivets, and then one, two, three snaps. And then on the back side, you can see you have these two straps and you can snap that onto a belt. Here's what the sheath looks like on the ax. To remove the sheath, you're gonna undo the snaps. One, two, three, and then take it off, and there's the axe. And to put it back on, I usually put the point end in first, and then snap, three snaps, one, two, three, and you're ready to go. Let's take a look at the axe and the end. Obviously this is the head, working our way down. Very nice textured handle there. You do have your pry slash nail remover coming back this way. Here's the back of the axe head there. And one thing I do want to note is you do have these bolts that go through and it looks like they forgot one here, but actually this is left open so that you could put a lanyard in there. One of the features I really like about the SCX5 is the actual handle and how it's built. You can see there's a swell there in the middle and that naturally just makes you want to kind of hold it like this. The swell goes right into the middle of your palm. Very comfortable. However, you can choke down a little bit and about three fingers go below the swell and then one above and that gives you good control and more power when you're swinging it. And you can also choke all the way up here and use it for finer cutting tasks. Obviously, if you're using the back side of the head here to, you know, chip into something, you want to be careful that the blade is not coming back at you. Have it at a good angle. Here's what it looks like on my belt. It is going to have some movement this way and also back and forth between wherever your belt loops are. But as long as you have these snaps secure, you should be good to go. If those snaps are not secure, and when you have this opened up, eventually a little bit of movement and the axe is going to loosen up and eventually it will fall out completely. So just make sure those are snapped and you should actually be good to go. We'll show you what it looks like now to do a little processing of wood like this. Here you can see why people would say it's a good option for camping. Not a lot of work and we broke that wood up quite easily. It is pretty dry and just to show you again the profile here, very thin. So you know a lot of axes that are good for splitting they're going to be thin and then get wide pretty quickly. But even though this is quite thin, it made quick work of that dry wood. I mentioned earlier that the handle offers you a variety of different options when it comes to where you hold it. Here you can see I'm choking up on it, so if I want to do some finer work, let me show you what that looks like with one of these pieces of wood that we just cut. See, it does that work as well. We'll move on to some chopping now.
as you can see, it will chop. I do want to remind you that as you're swinging it, uh, be careful with this spike that's coming back at you. So when I'm swinging with my right hand, I can kind of bring it out and then bring it down in. With my left hand, when I'm coming across my body, I'm taking much smaller swings because I want to be very careful about not hitting myself you know, when I come back with the spike. And now to give you a look at the spike in action. So that goes in probably about half an inch at least, up to about three quarters of an inch. Let's show you how the other end works here. This is using the pry option. Bend this nail up. We could tap it through a little bit. And then your nail puller. Comes most of the way out to keep tapping this. And then the nail puller again. Now one thing you're gonna see here obviously is that if I don't have something to leverage on this side, because that bend is not a, you know, you don't have a huge angle there, this is gonna be good for getting things started, but you're gonna need something to put underneath in order to get that nail to come fully out using the, uh, the back end of this item. So I can kind of push and pull a little bit here, and eventually I can get this nail out. The last thing I'll show you is processing some wood from a pallet, and if it can get through this, it can certainly get through drywall or other items like that. Let's just try to uh, bust this up a little bit. Pretty easy. go back here in the studio now to wrap up our review of the Schrade SC Axe 5 here's some overall thoughts I would say the one main downside was just the angle here of your pry end it's not very steep so I think if you had a steeper angle it would be better for you know really getting under nails and prying that's not a major downside I would say um, but just something to be aware of if you're buying this and thinking you're gonna be prying a lot of um, nails out of wood then that's probably not gonna be the best uh, use of this type of item on the upside, low on the weight, it's 1.56 pounds, very compact, 12.8 inches. I have the Trucker's Friend, which is notably heavier and notably bigger, but this thing for a very small item did some serious damage. You saw it definitely chopped wood, it definitely tore apart that um, pallet out in my backyard, so it is quite usable for demolition tasks like that. Now since I keep my emergency slash survival bag in the trunk of my car and I don't plan on hiking long distances with it, the weight of my demo tool doesn't really matter. It can be a little bit heavier because I'm not going for a long walk with it. However, if I was building a bug out bag and I wanted something lightweight that had some of these features like an axe, that pick on the back, and a pry bar, this would be an option I would definitely consider. And even as I'm looking at it here, I just want to remind you I really like all these different options for holding it. Again, up here on the handle like so, and then down here toward the bottom of the handle. Once again, this is the Schrade SC Axe 5. Thanks as always for checking out our videos. Please subscribe to us here on YouTube. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and check us out on Tumblr. Take care.